So a list of the top sneakers in NBA history was released, and many iconic shoes made the list, but it was the Air Jordans who stole the show. At number two were the classic Air Jordan 1s. The best-ranked sneakers of all time were the Air Jordan 11s. And let me just say before I ask my question, both of you guys take your shoe game very seriously. Shannon, I've seen you post videos of your crazy shoe closet. So, Shannon, yes. I'll ask you first. Do you agree with this list? Well, first of all, I'm not surprised that Jordan tops the list, Skip, because Jordan made shoes fashionable. Before Jordan, Skip, basically you, you, you know, practiced and played basketball in gym shoes, with the exception of the Chuck Taylors. Now, the Chuck Taylors, Skip, people used to wear you know, starch dream jeans and button-down shirts, and that was the style. But Michael Jordan, that was the style. Michael Jordan made shoes fashionable. Now, the shoes, Skip, everybody knows about the, uh, these are the, Air Jordan 1s, and these are the frags. They're not the black and white colorway that first, but these are what they call the OGs. These were the first shoes that Michael Jordan wore. Now, he had two colorways, red, white, black, and he had red and black. Those were the ones that every time he wore, he got fined $5,000. Instead of stop wearing them, Nike paid the fine. But the shoe yep. that everybody's talking about is what we call the con This would be a Jordan 11. This is the Concord skip. And what made this shoe so popular, it was the first shoe to have patent leather. Prior to that, you only saw patent leather on shoes. You were going to the prom or you were going to East, say your Easter speech. That was the only time, not on a gym shoe, Skip. And when the Concord came out, yep. everybody lost their mind. But then something happened in March of 1996. It's in the this is called. This is also the 11th, Skip. It's called the bread. Michael Jordan wore this shoe exclusively in the playoffs, and it never changed, and, and, and the game was over. Once he once this shoe came, it's still the most popular shoe, Skip, and everything they do, now they've come out with uh, the all gray, which with the, you know, the all gray, which is called the cool gray. They have the Space Jam in the 11. They have so many different, well, uh, the, uh, I forget, so many different ones, Skip, and they do so many different colorways. So I'm not surprised that the 11 and the one dominated Skip, you know, you can't see it, Skip, but you know the shoe that he won the 88 dunk contest in, the cement, were the whites. So I'm not surprised. I thought it would be the OG, Skip, because that's where it originally started, but I'm not surprised I that the too. 11 is the most popular shoe yeah. because the 11 is, is unbelievable shoe. It's great comfort, and it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a banging shoe. The patent leather is what set it aside from all other shoes, Skip, because the, the, uh, the 11, Skip, is all patent leather. Be it cool gray, be it the Concords, be it the Space Jam, it didn't matter. It was patent leather, and that's what set it aside from all other shoes. Gotcha. So, when I saw this list, before I opened it, <laughs> I tried to guess what's number one, and I'm with you. I thought one would be the one, would be the ones, would be the original, right. the OGs. It, it, it just got to be the shoes, money, right? It just got to <laughs> yeah. be that one. Right. And yeah, uh -huh. when I saw it was the 11, I thought about it. And the more I thought about it, the more I liked it. Yeah. Because yeah. the truth was, if you look hard at Jordan's legacy, he had his greatest year in that shoe. That year, they went 72 and 10. That year, he won the regular season MVP. He won the All-Star Game MVP in San Antonio. He won the Finals MVP as they beat Gary Payton Sonics in six games. Mm -hmm. He won the scoring title again, one of 10 times. And he was first team all defense. And on top of that, it's the Space Jam sneaker. So I, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Just on, you know, on pure legacy, you just say the impact of what happened in that shoe. Whew. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, I'm good with that being number one. And by the way, yeah. the Concords were always my favorite. And, and the reason, Shannon, you brought it up, the patent leather, I, I always called them my tuxedo sneakers because those are the yes. ones... They're my favorites to wear on Undisputed, low tops or high tops, because mm -hmm. you can, they can dress you up. You can wear it with a suit, and it just looks like they're made for a suit. So you can go casual yeah. or you can go formal. 
and, and they work. Mm-hmm. And it was the first sneak where I said, that works. However you want to use it, it works. Yes. So I love the choice. I, I second the emotion of the choice. But Shannon, two quick points. Also, before okay. I open up the list, I hoped two classic sneakers at least made it into the top 10, and boom, boom, they did. First, at number nine was the old Adidas superstar from the 80s. Uh And Shannon, Uh again, for me in the 80s, I just lived in the superstar. (laughs) That's all I ever wore to play in or to walk around in, or it was it. And remember, Run DMC ran to the bank in those superstars. Yeah. yeah, they had a shell to Adidas. And, and yeah. remember, I got it. And and remember, what did Jordan? What was Michael Jordan's choice when he came to the NBA in '84? He wanted to be Adidas, right? Adidas. That's what we learned yeah. in the documentary. Mm-hmm. And his mom yeah. said, "No, you need to take a trip to Port. Correct. I mean, to uh, Oregon, to the Nike headquarters, Oregon. and at least listen to what those people have to say." And then when his father right. heard what those people had to say. His father said, you need to do this. And Michael said, okay. And it was simply the greatest decision he ever made in his life, right? I mean, mean, you you can't do any better than that. Yeah, you used it. Yeah, go ahead. And and this is why, Skip, this is why nobody will ever take, can can top him with the sneaker game. Because of what, because he was the first to do it. And he's kind of cornered the market. If you take all the guys, think about it, Skip. Normally when guys have shoe deals, once they retired, they discontinued making the shoe. Michael Jordan's shoe is more popular now than he when he played. And he hadn't played in, in, in 15 years. So when you when you and when you look at it, Skip, and, and I remember, you know, I remember all the shoes from the threes. I like the cement, Skip. As a matter of fact, these Concords and these bread, Skip, these are the original shoes. So 1996 and 1995, okay. these are the original shoes. Yeah. So okay. I, and when, like you said, when they came out with patent leather, I'm like, who thought of, at first, Kim, I'm thinking, who the hell thought about putting patent leather on a, on a gym shoe? Nobody. And then when you saw it, when I actually, Skip, when I actually went to the store and saw it, I said, oh, my goodness. I said, and then they just started. So they went from the Concord to the, the Breads, and they went to the Cool Grays, and they went to the Space Jam with two different bottles uh, of the Imperial. The, with the, I said, oh, man. Skip, nobody's going to be able to touch it. Kobe has a great shoe. Okay. I love Kobe's shoes. As a matter of fact, Skip, uh, my last year in Denver, I went to a game to see Kobe play. The shoes Kobe played in, I went back, I, I went uh, in the dressing room, talked to him, I said, Kobe, I said, bro, let me get those. Skip, he took them off his feet, he autographed them for me, and he gave them to me, the Harachis. Now, people don't remember, Skip, originally out of high school, he signed with Adidas. I think it was like his sixth or seventh year in the league before he came He yeah. came aboard Nike, yeah. which was a great decision. Skip, if you also mm-hmm. remember, Michael Jordan in college, Dean Smith was a cons guy, converse. That's what he wore in college. But yep. they, okay. were, he, they were not going to make him bigger than Magic and Larry. Okay, that, that brings me to converse and the second shoe that made it into the top ten because to your point, at the, at the time Michael came into the league, 84, Michael and Larry <clears throat> dominated the shoe game with those Magic. Converse weapons. Magic and Larry. Remember those? Yes. I mean, Magic. Yes. I'm sorry. Magic and Larry uh, dominated yes. with the, those weapons, the Converse weapons. Everybody was mm-hmm. wearing those at that yeah. point. But the shoe yeah. I want to talk about that you mentioned was the shoe I literally grew up playing in was the Chuck Taylor Converse All-Star. <laughs> Now, in, in yeah. my day, they were always all white. And quick white. story, when I was a freshman in high school for the freshman team, everybody wore all white Converse, and we loved the black ones. And if you could get your hands on black ones, you were it <laughs> at that point. And I went to the varsity basketball coach who was a legend named Don Van Poole. I went into his office before school one day on behalf of the freshman team, and I asked Coach Van Poole, could we wear black Chuck Taylors? And I got a one-word answer, no. And so that was the end of that deal. But I've always loved the black ones. Now everybody loves red ones and green ones and yellow ones. And yep. they have endured. And they're, they're selling just as well now as fashion right. footwear. 
as they did back in right. the day as just purely basketball footwear. So way to go, and, and Converse All-Stars were number five on the list. Yeah, and of course, you know, I got to keep these things on, too. These are the, uh, the old Goat James 15s, the floors, you can't see them, Skip. Nice uh, shoe, real, real, real nice shoe. Uh, but, Skip, I, if you really look at, Skip, go, go ahead. Wait, time out. I, I need to make one quick note here that ESPN also did a bottom 10 of all time, and I was a little surprised. Guess what was number eight on that list in the bottom 10? The LeBron 13s. What? So when a LeBron shoes made the bottom 10, that's <laughs> shameful. What was it? The soldier? I, I, can, I, can, I don't know I which one it was. I don't follow hands, LeBron <laughs> shoes. I, I don't the know. LeBron is, shoes. You, I didn't even know he had a lot. Does he have his own <laughs> signature shoe? I don't even know. He got 17. He got 17. As a matter oh. of fact, I'm wearing the Monstars right now. Skip, if you really look at it, if you look at probably the 10 of the most iconic shoes, really, Jordan probably, you could easily put Jordan and say Jordan has them all. Because if you look at the threes, which are the cements, he won the dunk contest, Skip, in the white cements. Okay. The fours are very good. People don't really like the fours, Skip, because they crease so much. Mm -hmm. They're easily creased. Yeah. I like the fives. People like the infrared, which are the sixes. The sevens, the, I don't really like the eights, but the left, but Skip. Yeah. I mean, when you look at what he's got, Skip, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Yeah, those are the black cements that he actually played in the game. But he won the dunk contest. Those are the twos. Now, Skip, me, I'm biased towards the twos. My mama waited in line in 1987 for three hours to spend $100 on those shoes. Those are my favorite because the memory what it brings back and what my mom, you know, was waiting in line to get me those shoes yeah. and saying, boy, you better keep these shoes for 100 years because I ain't never waiting in line again and I've never paid another $100 for a pair of gym shoes. That's what, that's what people, uh, my mom called them, Skip. My grandma called them gym shoes also. But, it, man, it's, it's um, Skip, it's um, he changed the game, Skip. That's why nobody's ever going to catch him, yep. Skip. Because you can't talk so, Michael Jordan without talking shoes. Yeah, so you are willing to admit, live national TV, that Michael Jordan is at least the sneaker goat? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We, but we, hey, okay. but we on my Rushmore. I think we on my Rushmore. It's Jordan, it's Kobe, it's mm -hmm. Ron, and it's uh, the web. It's the uh, Doctor J All Star. I'm gonna go no. old school. I ain't gonna pick Sorry. the weapons with, with Bird and Magic. <laughs> no. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not gonna forget this day. It's been said by Shannon. MJ is the sneaker goat. Uh, just so you yeah. know, it's been said. I'm not gonna forget. Skip and I are gonna remember that one. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.